every man became a sinner from the act of Adam and Eve. Remember we explained what sin is, right? Were you there? I'm explaining to you again. I'm explaining to you again. Before you explain... Can I explain to you? Do you know, do you know your grand, 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 grand father? Have you heard about them, maybe? But you don't know them. So how can you say, was that there when Adam was judged by God? Do you hear my question? Yes. No, no, I'm not trying to make sense because what you believe. You're trying to deceive. You're not being you not being you see, I don't with me. I asked you a straightforward question. Yeah. You were just describing us about the interaction between God and Adam. Yes. So Adam, please be upon him, because we consider him to be a prophet. He wasn't a prophet. Okay. We believe he wasn't a prophet. He was a first man. That's all. So God spoke to him, right? Yes. When he committed a mistake, a sin, a sin. Were you there? And why are you How can you ask me that stupid question? Was I there? No, okay. he is. Okay. Okay. How many generations has gone past? You can't ask me. That was I there? Stupid question. No, no, he is. Is. It should be. Okay, brother, you cannot ask me that there? question. No. Right, you're not there. Were you there? Were you there? No, you can't ask right. that kind of <laughs> question. You can't <laughs> ask that kind of question. You cannot ask it. As you realize, there is a reason why I ask. So, we were not there, you were not there. Correct? You were not there. Yes, I wasn't right. So, were you involved in any, in any way, shape, in the part of the sinning that happened? Sin is an action. So, did you also commit the sin that Adam did then? That's what I'm saying. From the day, I'm going to explain to you again, I believe as a Christian, and give me time for you to listen, if it does make sense. Because the, what we call it, when God created Adam and Eve, there was a fellowship between man and God. God came and visited them, they talked with God, and there was that fellowship. You okay? But God warned him, this is what I've done, the day you will do it, you shall surely die. You will. Adam. So in, the, in the day, in the day, the day Adam went for me. We already talked about that, my brother. So who committed the sin? I'm, 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 I'm elaborating now. Give me the time now. Elaborate by clarification. Yes, yes, of course. Who committed the sin? Just listen. Adam or you? We already agreed. Is that Adam who committed it? Not you. Don't bring me back again. But, but is it you? Everyone Don't repeat the same no, question. I want you to be open and clear. You know, it's been said already. Adam committed that sin. And not you. Now I'm gonna. No, no. I'm gonna clarify. Stop. Give me time to. Speak. Is it you as well? You're not, you're, been, you're not you're been, you're not 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 been, you to, Along with that, today, see if tomorrow or after tomorrow will die. The result of my death is uh, in connection of what Adam did. Did you commit the sin? I commit. I commit this sin through Adam. In the Garden of Eden, did you commit the sin? Yes, I commit oh, this there. sin you were through him. Okay. So you were there. Let me answer now. So was there. So you Let there? me answer now. Let me answer now. Let me answer. Do you know why? You're confusing can, everyone. Can we? Pro so you need to clarify the confusion. <laughs> I ask did you yeah. commit the I sin think, in the I, Garden of Eden? I think it, you, Mike. No, don't, 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 don't play no, no, that. You don't play. No, I, I, I answer you. Yes, I committed the sin. How did you commit the sin? Because the I am the seed of Adam. How I am the seed of Adam. Okay, let me ask you. You know question. your seed. Your seed comes from far. That does not You've mean got that you grand, 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 grand father. Your future, what does your that have face, to do with sin? it comes from your generation. Did we not define what sin is, right? No, no. You, I'm trying. No, you. No, no, no. Sorry, he's not giving me time. He's trying to, to confuse me. No, no, no. I've already answered. You yes. Confused ideas. You ask me. Yes, yes. No, I committed the sin through Adam. Yeah. But I want to answer. You know why? It I want to make sense to me. I want to make the progress. I want to progress. But I don't understand yeah, what you say. Because no, no. in the Garden of Eden, you were not there. What do you believe, Muslim? Wait, wait, wait. What do, what, what do you believe? Right. No, sorry, I'm, no, no, I want to ask you a question now. Because I want to know what you believe. And I will 
uh, uh, lay down as a Christian what we believe, sure. then we will see if it makes sense. Okay. Because Sorry, your faith is on something only super, uh, superficial. Yeah. It's not that like a, not there is, there has no substance. That's why I see it. It's because that's why you want to the subject, now right? listen, that's why you want to the, the intention of God that man should live eternal. He says man is not physical only, is a spiritual. And the aspect that God sent Jesus Christ is to save that spiritual being of a human being to live eternal with him before him. And he said at the time, at the last time, at the, at the end, he will take every pain, every suffering. The devil will be bound, he will not have no power. People will live in peace. And that's why Jesus came to suffer for all the sins of mankind. That's why he did not come to judge, but to save the world. And this is the message of Christian. You know, you know, you this all. is the message. You know, you all. All. I, I don't okay. know what you believe. Because what you believe is what is in the flesh. But in the flesh it's already lost. For all men die, today live and tomorrow die. But he said, fear not men who can only kill the, the flesh. But fear God who has the power to kill the flesh and the soul. And that's what the message Jesus Christ brought. And he said it's the message of love. It's not a preaching. That's, no, this is what we believe. It's not a preaching. Point. It's not a preaching. That's the we truth. discussed this is and we said a stone or a fence cannot sin. And you said it cannot sin because it is not alive. It has no choice and it doesn't know the commands of God because you define sin. Free sin. You define sin as inherited sin, imputed sin, wait, wait, and wait, 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 no, this is a classification, not a definition. You define sin as an action of transgression of God's law. So someone has to be a free agent or agents with free choice to commit those actions. Yes. So a fence or a stone doesn't have a choice. It's not alive, cannot commit a sin. Likewise, if you also agreed earlier on that if someone else disobeys God there and you have no connection whatsoever, you are not also sinning or sinful because of that someone else has disobeyed God. You agreed to that, didn't you? You said, if Mark has no relationship with Tim, no lineage, and Mark disobeyed God, it doesn't make Tim a sinner. Tim is not sinful. No, sinner in the sense, if he doesn't, right. if he works in righteousness, of course. He, yes. The sins and you agreed, his, you agreed. The sins of his father and will not come up You agreed yes. with Ezekiel chapter 18, where God saying, There's no ambiguity of God. There's no ambiguity of The grandson, the grandson yes. cannot be a sinner or sinful if you work or, in righteousness, yes. or be punished yes. of the grandfather's if you son. Work in righteousness, yes. Yes. You agreed earlier on that yes. the grandson yes. cannot be a sinner and be punished for the grandfather's sin. Yes. Everyone individually is responsible for their own sin and they're punished accordingly. The sinner that sinneth is the one that is going to be dying and be punished. Personal That's sins. what Ezekiel says. Personal so sins. I asked you then, where does your classification, you classify sin as inherited sin, imputed sin, imputed sin and personal sin. Personal sin, we all understand and agree. When, when we read Ezekiel, whole of the chapter, verse 1 to 32, where does the inherited sin come in? Because it clearly says the son cannot be a sinner for his father or grandfather's Only sin. Only in a condition when the sons work, work in righteousness. If he is just in his ways, he shall surely live. But if he works in wickedness he surely shall die for who sin his sin or his grandfather's sin his sin his sin in sin so but i tell you the sin where does but come in no, sorry the ezekiel chapter is no, very clear no, no, no. and ambiguous no no it's not he shall no, die for not. his own it's sin no not it is the tradition the jew the temple solomon built yearly they were bringing um they were bringing sacrifices burning in the temple for the sins of the children and the grandchildren, 
they, come, they were coming always to sanctify themselves for the sins of the family. And this is a tradition, it's always been there. So, so within, within, within the Jew, this is, was a tradition. Okay. People so always now you have a Bible which contradicts on the it very notion contradict. of sin and salvation. No, it doesn't contradict. Okay. It doesn't, let me it tell doesn't, you, it doesn't contradict. Let me, let me no, tell you why we find a contradiction. Why? Ezekiel 18 starts with a proverb. There's a proverb that, you know, if a father, if fathers eat grape, sour grapes, not um, sweet grape, sour grapes, the teeth of the children, you know, is not effective. It's effective. God is saying no longer this proverb will be applicable. Wait. There's no confusion. Excuse me. That. Please, listen. Please. There's nothing. There's no confusion. The God of he Israel. Just, he doesn't understand no, that. He please. doesn't understand Ezekiel. Right. Why? The Ezekiel was talking about the judgment. Right. 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 I mean, he was so, he was addressing right. the social problem within the Jew themselves. Right. Listen. No, listen. No, no, let me. I can explain because again. you read it again, but you don't understand that verse. No, no. I don't understood. It. No, you don't, don't like understand. Every it. decent human being. He understand. was jailing. He was. What you are doing is this. With the social problem. Excuse me. There were, there were people within, this, within, the, within no, the society. No, this conversation is not going to be very meaningful. No, but you're coming you back, read, to, you're Mike, coming Mike, back Mike, to the I, same thing. You have read you're coming God back to the of same Israel thing. in the Hebrew Bible, in Ezekiel chapter 18 says, no longer shall this proverb be applicable to, in my own words, applicable to Israel. Why he's saying, if a father is good, he shall, he shall live, not die. If he has a son. A so why, 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 let I'll, me I'll, make no, no. my point. I already understood it. No, no, you haven't I, understood. I want to know Excuse me. where you are standing. Why, why are you still going back? Excuse me. No, 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 no. The reason, me, no, yeah, the reason no I'm saying is this. Yeah. Ezekiel 18, you agree with me. That there is no problem. I don't, I don't. Cut me problem. off in the middle again. No, you want to get somewhere. I want you to get no, to the somewhere. point. I, I want, want you to, to understand the yes. whole teaching of So Ezekiel you are saying no no, uh, no, 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 I want to understand. Your point is no, no. Your point is no, no, my point is I will explain my sins because my, I will be judged for my sins, not, not, not the sins of Adam. That's what you're trying to say. He hasn't finished yet. No, no, no. According why to why don't you say it? No, no, listen. Why don't you say it? Excuse, say it. Excuse me. Say it. According to Ezekiel, let's establish the teaching there. Right? Yeah. I have no problem no, no, with that. I have no problem. We're not with letting him finish. The Teaching in Ezekiel. Please, my friend. Again, you keep on saying the same thing. Go on, finish now. You interrupt I give you time. Do you agree? Now. Do you agree? I already that agree. We already agree. That. You, you're doing that again. Do you agree I that? We, I have finished. We already agree on that. Yes. No, move on. Now. I am making a statement. I haven't finished. Continue now. I, okay. I say I agree. There's no, 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 I haven't finished my statement. Yes, keep on speaking. Yes. Do you agree that? Yes. So have I finished my statement? I have. Do you agree that Ezekiel chapter 18 teaches sin cannot be inherited? He doesn't say, he doesn't say that. He said the condition, if the father was an evil man and the son is good, the man, the son will not inherit the evil of the father. That's so clear. You read that and it's clear. And if the, if the, if the father was good and the son was evil, the evil will be with the son. That's clear. So you don't agree, it's the sin inherited. is not inheriting to the generation. He is already inherited as well. He is inherited in a sense. You just said, you just said, if the father is evil, the, father, the son is not. If the father is evil and the son is evil, does the son inherit the evil? evil also goes all the way to the lineage, to all the family. That's what I'm talking about. According to the yes. teaching of Ezekiel, is it saying that the sin of the father is transmitted to the child and the grandchild? If you break the Torah, you will be no judge. I'm, I'm trying to explain to you again. It, I'm trying to explain to you again the way you, you, you understand. I agree in the same way that the sins are not passed to the son or to the father when they're all working, they've been just, they've been righteous. But when the evil is there, who sins we will go and I explain to you. It doesn't stop. I, I explain to no, you. No, stop. Yes. You, you, you are totally wrong. Again, according to chapter 18 of Ezekiel, if a son, can we move on from no, no, there? Because no, no, we no, understood no. that point. this whole chapter, want, you're no, interrupting no, no. again. I want to make can you, you to make a point. I'm making a point. Where are you Would standing you with enough? the sin? Listen. No, just listen. Would you kindly Where not interrupt? Where do you when I'm stand with point? the sin of Adam and Eve? 
So I think that's where is the point. The note listen, is there. Listen. We cannot keep talking the same listen. thing. We agree on that. The reason why we brought Ezekiel chapter 18 is the whole world knows Ezekiel 18 is a refutation of this belief the sins can inherit. So, so let me finish now. And let me establish why I say so, so you, so you, you, you are refuting the word of God when you say to Adam, you surely shall die. Excuse me. Let me establish what I said. As you have said. Make your point quickly because you keep on saying the same thing. We're not getting some you know why? I cannot make it quick. No, I'm, I give you time. You are behaving a... like many other Christians. How many time do you want? How many time do you Every want? Every time you want to make a point. How many time drop? do you want? I'm gonna keep shut. I'm gonna shut I my want mouth. to make point I'm, once, I'm, once, once okay, again, God. once, not twice, once. And the point I'm making is this: there is the Father. God starts. The God of the Israelites in the Bible starts by saying a father, and then goes on to the son, and goes on to the grandson. Father. Yeah, good. Is it good or bad? Bad first, right? So the son, the grandson, if he's evil, if the grandson is evil, is he being punished for the sins of the father or his own sin? You're not asking questions. I am asking questions. I already answered many times. You keep on one more time. Up. One more. No, 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 no. Not twice. No, just no, one more. It's the same thing. No, just one more. Let's go. Final time. Let's move on. Final. No, one final no, time. No, no, no. Just explain one final time. Thing. No. You As I said, no, he's not not saying you what final no, means? No, no, it's it's the final means. It's the same thing. Do you know what final means? It's the same thing. thing. No more. This is the last time. So when the sun I will answer you again. When the son do good, yes, he will not inherit the evil of the father. No, that's what I asked. When the son is doing evil, is he punished for his own sin or the sins of his grandfather? If the grandfather was doing evil, the evil of the father will also go to the son. That's not what the chapter says. You just made it up. I it says the son shall die yes, for his own sin. I've the soul. I've let me go back again. So I've answered you. Let's move on. Otherwise, no, 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 we're not no, no. going anywhere. No, no. I have to correct you because no, you can't totally correct me. Yes. I know the verses. You're, listen, you're making it up. No, I'm not you making just it up. Read it. I'm read it. not making it up. You're going to read it. Here. He has Here. not talked about it. If Let's the son or the grandfather is evil, listen. Listen. and the son is evil, listen. Listen. let's hear what the scriptures say, brother. I have to correct you. Look, verse 19. God is addressing you directly now. Yet, say you why? Does not the son bear the iniquity of the father? See how relevant? Does not the son bear the iniquity of the father? What does God say? When the son has done that which is lawful and right, and has kept all my statutes, and has done them, he shall surely live. The soul that sins, it shall die. The son shall not bear the there's iniquity. No there's no I'm not finished. Yes. I am not finished. It's the same thing you keep on saying. Listen. It's the same thing. No. What I'm doing is refuting let's, the very nice no, Let's get to the meaning your own scripture. of all that. Let's the son does not inherit the sin of the father. If you cannot get over this, then take a break and go and study the subject. No, no. This is clear. Does and the then, son inherit? So is that, does the son inherit? Is, is that where you're okay. coming? Okay. 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 Read this. No, does the son inherit In the sin point, of the father? He said, if the father, the father have done evil, and the son have done what is right for. What is right, not evil. You didn't what my what don't you understand? My question what is What is right he has done, he will not bear the iniquity of the father. What is not so clear to you? If the son is doing evil, and the father is doing evil, yes. does this verse say the say son that. is punished for the father's you, evil? The evil, you know. You're when, making when it talk, up, it doesn't say when that. We, when we talk about evil, the thing is, People, what they don't understand. That's his own philosophy. Things people they don't understand. That. Evil. Excuse me. It, the sorry, 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 no. sorry. The sins of the father. Evil is a seed. A seed. No, the sin, no, sin, sin. Sin. Evil is a seed. Yeah. Evil is evil also is seed. A seed. You got a lot of seeds there, you know. It's a seed. You, know you should be a it farmer. It goes on. But anyway. No, no, no. Mike. no, 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 no. Do, you know, do you know why this? Let's leave this. Let's is leave. Not are you promoting this, your no, seed so, there? No, no. This is mean, was not a debate. Anymore. Everything else. We are talking about the debate. We are talking about the debate. So you were not there when Adam was being 
we were talking about talking the way of salvation ah. because Ezekiel did not bring salvation. Ezekiel, Ezekiel did not bring salvation. You wish the chapter Ezekiel 18 was not in the Bible. I know about sin. I know about the wish. I know many Christians they wish chapter Ezekiel 18 of Ezekiel was not in the Bible. We don't try to actually. There is no ambiguity. I don't refute it. It's so clear. It's just you who try to use it in your in your I don't know. I mean, you, you try to use these verses to try to justify to defeat. Invite Sorry. everyone to refute who's watching this. The sins that which was imputed in Jesus Christ. Of That's all. There's no problem with that. this. Who is actually making sense? Ezekiel, God was addressing the children of Israel in a social problem. No, no, into, social problem. Yes, of course. There was social problems. This is problem. to do with the idea that you can inherit the sins yes. of your father. It's always That's been, not a social it's problem. Always, it's a theological problem. It's always it's a problem been, that you believe in, and God is saying you are no longer to believe in this. It's always been there. You know, before Christ came. If you don't want to listen to your God, it's up to you. No, Let's I, move on. I, I do, did I do Jesus? Did Jesus pay the penalty? For the sins of mankind. All mankind, yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you absolutely sure? I am. Okay. 100%. So you believe that Jesus took the sins of all the sinners yes. and he prayed the price? Yes. Okay. Yes. Suppose now I was a sinner, according to the biblical definition. I rejected God, suppose, and I disobeyed God, and I did all the bad things, all the wicked things that God says you shouldn't do. So according to the judgment, I should go to heaven or hell? I should go to hell. Because if I did these things, right? How many minutes would I be burning in hellfire? Or days? In, in hellfire, there is no limit. Eternal. It's eternal. Yes. Right. So now we are very clear. My punishment, if I were to disobey God and go against totally and be and not arrogant believe in Jesus Christ and not believe in Jesus Christ, I shall suffer eternal burning in hell. How long? You said it very clearly. It's eternal. Eternal burning. Good. If someone was to be a substitute and be a willing person to say, I will take the punishment. The son of God. The son of God. Please let me establish my case. If someone was voluntarily willing and say, I will pay the punishment that you are going to face. I will face it. I will take it on my shoulders. Yeah? If someone was to do that, how many days do they have to be punished in hellfire and burn in hellfire for? One day or eternal suffering in hellfire? It's just the death. It's the act, it's the act of death. Punishment. Act of death. Yes. It's the act of death. Now, you again, you, 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 you see what you're doing? I'm not doing, doing anything. Okay. I'm explaining you. Listen, ask me did you not and agree? I will explain to you. My, did, I will you explain to you. did you not agree? Yes. My punishment was yes. eternal yes. burning in hell. Yes. So suppose this gentleman over there who's not there, I'm just pointing to no one. Suppose there's a gentleman there. He's going to willingly take my place and if be... you made a point, can I answer? Can I answer now? Can I answer? I haven't made my point. You ask me. I'm I haven't supposed to be point. eternal. I haven't no, made my point. I'm established and I will answer you. Suppose the gentleman over there is going to be my substitute. Okay? On my behalf, going to be punished. So the punishment that this gentleman is going to be punished for will be equal or less. Equal punishment. Wait. That's in a human, wait, in a human, wait, in a human wait, level you're trying to judge my, this my, mystery which you happened on earth. My, I'm not. Don't I'm interrupt. Finish don't interrupt. It. So if someone you is going to finish, of course. If someone is going to ask me a question. If someone is going to be willingly saying, I'll take your punishment. So if you're now in a court of law and you got fined 100 pounds and someone says, you know what, you don't have to pay, I'll pay it. Does that person who's going to volunteer to pay the fine pay 100 pounds or one pound? Wait, I'm not asking you a question. I'm just illustrating to you. The punishment was 100 pounds. So whoever volunteers has to pay exactly 100 pounds to waiver the punishment. If someone is going to take my punishment on their shoulders, they have to suffer and burn in hellfire for eternity. Whoever does that? You believe there is a candidate who became a substitute. There is a candidate and that candidate is Jesus Christ himself. So, we are now going to examine whether indeed he substituted 
on my behalf or anyone else's behalf. If he is going to be a substitute, so he has to pay the equal punishment that I would have suffered. My punishment was eternal burning in hellfire. Not one day, not a million years or a zillion years, eternal burning in hellfire. So if Jesus was going to pay the same punishment, how long would he have to be suffer in hellfire? Eternity. Not one day, not three days. Let me finish. Not three days. Not three nights. He has to. Wait, Tim, 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 brother. No, 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 no. But let me make my point clearly. As a Christian. Mike, Mike. As a Christian. As a Christian. He has to. He's messing you up, man. Listen. He's going to lead you to hell. He's messing you up, this guy. Because when you stand there, Islam will not stand before God, before Jesus Christ. It's your soul. I want to make it's your soul. My point. It's your soul. Right. Right. Seriously. Okay. It's messing you so up. Mike, it's it's you it's you up. Hindu, Hindu will say the same thing. What are you saying? As you realize, you know, as you realize, yeah, no, as you how many hours there are between the three? You answer in the Bible. Answer the question. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. So let me. I'm going to ask you. How many hours there are? So as you realize. If Jesus, if Jesus is going to take the punishment, it's okay, brother. The punishment. Listen to me. Then three days. Three. No, nine hour. Nine hour. Are you listening? Finish. Okay. So Jesus Christ, man, you're so rich, man. You, you, there's so much you can. Solve. Can you answer that? Can you answer? Don't answer. I need to finish. You should sit down and talk about the truth, man. Come this one. Come this one. No, no, leave him there. Leave him there. Just go. Turn on. Okay, then. Thank you. So, Jesus is a candidate. So he needs to pay like for like. No, finish him. Finish, please, so I can talk because he keep on talking the same thing. It's the same thing you do. In the first, the devil. I'm trying to make. You have to finish. When you finish, then you give me the time. Cut me off again. I'm trying to make you understand. You don't understand me. Give me your opinion. I will, I will answer you. <laughs> don't interrupt them. How long has he been talking? Don't interrupt them. Thank you. I'm making it as simple so everyone can understand here. So anyone who's going to be a volunteer has to pay the same like for like penalty. Jesus is my volunteer, according to your belief. He has to pay the same penalty of eternal suffering in hellfire. So did he burn in the hellfire for eternity? We are told no, he didn't. So he did not pay the penalty even for one individual like me. I mean, you see, you can't answer until I finish. Yeah, finish, please. Two, two more minutes. The same thing. Two more minutes. No, man, you are Look at your watch. That's not the truth. Two man. more minutes. You have to hear the truth. What is the truth? Okay. 1607. Keep, keep talking. Right. Keep talking. Two more minutes, brother. Remember, two more minutes. He's not going to interrupt for two minutes because that's the one I'm going to make my point. So now we have messing up people. Man. Don't listen messing to him, brother. Brother, you're messing Tim, up. Tim, 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 come this way. Come this way. No, no, no. Leave him there. You can keep on talking. Leave him there. So don't interrupt him. That's all right. Keep on talking. Okay. So now you have an individual, a volunteer, who failed to take the penalty for even one individual, let alone all the millions and billions of people around the world who's going to be going to hell according to the criteria of the Bible, right? So Jesus failed to even pay for one individual, even for one. It is not sufficient to say he's God, he died for three days. We never ask for qualitative punishment. If I say, you know what, I give you a brown, a totally mint one pound coin, brand new, or five pounds, brand new. It doesn't matter because the penalty was 100 pounds in my example. You have to pay 100 pounds. If the penalty is quantitative, not qualitative, understand the difference. Can you finish? My two minutes. You interrupted, so I'm going to have to go again again. I, I get one more minute because of that, because you interrupted. No, no way. So don't interrupt then. No way. So don't interrupt. Thank you. So don't interrupt. Thank you. I've got one more minute still out of my two minutes. So the penalty was quantitative. So I can watch it. Quantitative, not qualitative. What I mean by that is, it's about the duration of punishment. Not only how severe the punishment is, but the duration as well. Not quality, but quantity. Jesus has not done the punishment quantitatively for all that duration. 
He failed miserably. So he cannot be a substitute. So I'm so sorry for all of the world of the Christians. No, 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 look at the watch. You keep interrupting. You can't even be silent for you know, two minutes. Messing up people. Not messing up. No. These people will stand in You know what? Because he interrupted, it is only fair. I take my no, seriously. Mi this, you know, this minutes serious. back or seconds back. Keep okay. going, keep it. Can you finish? You should pause. Is it, you keep on saying the no, same thing. No, you interrupt. Yeah, go, go, go on. Oh, That's not fair. Is worth 500 right. right. So, it is really sad to see that all the Christian friends of ours are hoping on something that someone has volunteered and taken their punishment, who is Jesus Christ. But he hasn't done that, as you now realize. He has not saved any one of you. So you have to be now responsible for your own action and own belief. Like Jesus would be for his own self, for his own actions. So as I said, as you now realize, you were very sure earlier on that Jesus paid my punishment. And now you realize that wasn't the case. So I would like to know now from you, how do you reconcile? That's okay. How do you reconcile? This discrepancy. It's my turn now to talk, yeah? No preaching. Okay. What I believe, the Bible is true, and everything that it speaks is the truth. In the day Adam and Eve the sin, God said, Surely you shall die. And he said, From the ground you came out, and from the ground you're going, to, going back. And he said to the serpent, who was the image of Satan, that the seed of the woman will bruise your head. So, because of death came through man, God loved the world, loved man, he created to his own image. He was working already the way, the plan of salvation to come and rescue man, because man is to live eternal. It was not only fleshly, but it was also spiritual. And the spiritual body of man does not die. So, the plan of God to send a man who shall come into time to save mankind, he was to come to save that which was not flesh, but which was spiritual. So the image of God that we have, because at the beginning God says, let's create man to our own image, to our own likeness. How are we in the likeness of God? In his spiritual nature. So, when we talk about salvation why jesus christ is so important the reason why it's so important because god when he was creating the world his earth jesus christ was there as the son of god he was the master crafter he was there as god was forming the foundation of earth. and everything was being created he was there and the reason why because god created the world, this earth for him, his son Jesus Christ, that he may sit on the throne and rule like the kingdoms of the earth where they have kings and prince. So this earth was created for Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus Christ has to come down on earth out of the seed of a woman, but which was not of the seed of man because it was conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why he was born of a virgin and he came as a man. I'm going. I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. Can you answer, can you answer, can you answer his question? Thank no, you. I'm, I'm, Direct question yes. he asked you why he only died for three days I'm and coming, not for eternity. I'm coming now. into death. Are you preaching, brother? No, I'm not preaching. We know all this. I'm stories. explaining how we know the one who was to come how it has to be born because when I'm talking about birth, I'm going to go into this death, isn't it? I'm going to talk about his death. When? Well. I'm coming. I've talked about how he was conceived without the seed of man but by the power of the Holy Spirit. We know that. He grew as us. And why he has to grow? to grow up as us because the sin which Adam and Eve committed by which death came it was committed in the flesh so Jesus was born also as you and me and he went through that which we go in life suffering hardship tribulation Jesus Christ went through this in his day the devil even tempted him just the way he tempted us but Jesus show us how we can resist you're the devil. losing your audience. You know I'm not that. losing. I'm just explaining. What's the point? Answer his question. I'm going to answer now. 
So he has shown us the example life we have to live as a human being in order to overcome evil, to be those who are the children of God. And after he has accomplished his mission, he needed to die. And what the last thing is God has said, he will come to bruise the head of the serpent. So the power of the, the devil needed to be stripped away from him. That's the power he has over death. And Jesus Christ has to accomplish that. And why he came to deal with is death. Death needed to be defeated. Because when he died, he did not remain into death. Yes, I'm saying he's going to be there forever. No, he was not going to be there forever because he's the son of God. It's not the same price. He didn't pay the same price. Jesus, the, the price he paid is the death he died. A righteous man who died without sin and rose and rose to death. Rose, rose from death to life. That everyone now who shall believe in him, although they die, because that's what Jesus said, that whosoever don't may, may, may die, they believe in me, they shall live again. So it's not going to be in hell forever, eternity. Like, sorry? So he's not going to be in hell forever. Jesus. He's not remaining in hell because those who are in hell are condemned. But he went to take away the power of death from Satan and bring back life. And this life is what we receive through the soul. To our soul. Okay, we got your answer. So all I'm saying, what, I'm, what we believe and that which we believe which is true, as Jesus made a statement himself, he says, those who believe in me, though they will die, they will live again. They will rise again. So Jesus came and restored life, restored life to mankind by faith through him because he's the son of God. So when he is so coming, Qualitative, not quantitative. That's no, what you are no, saying. No, so no. it was about the quality, no, it's not about the quantity. It's, it's not a length oh, of it. Okay. It's not a, it's a it's an act of defeating oh, death. What do you say about that, brother? It's the act of defeating oh, you death. Let him, let him no, 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 no. It's the act of defeating death. So if you want to make this comparison with that which we see as a flesh, and then it's a, it's a, it's a really, it's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know how to say it, but it's, it's a sad because, it's a sad because you are comparing the things of God with the things of man, which is are not equal, which are not the same. As the Bible says, what, 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 uh, one thousand years is, uh, is one day to God. I think so you I can't think compare I, I understand things with that what which God so is doing or he has My, done with what we do. What, 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 so what you said, you can add to the trying to address the question, no. I will let the perfect work. Jesus, you know, Jesus Christ who, on the cross, you know, he didn't say, I am finished. You know, you he make up your mind whether it justified the work in answering the, 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 the question required that I asked you. I mean, done. in my humble opinion, he was willing to you haven't really answered the, the question. The place Instead, of the curse. you've gone into because all these stories about the creation, the how the role of Jesus and so on. That was my question at all. That was my question at all. Why? What? What you've done? Well, because he was dying for those who had broken the What has happened is this. Just like the whole idea that you are being sinful and punished for someone else's sins when you are not even there, and you're going to eat away the curse. How unjust this belief is. Likewise, you have a solution to this unjust just belief by another unjust belief which is what instead of someone being a volunteer to take the punishment like for like they get away with paying nothing and yet you say oh there is a volunteer if in a court of law i thought it was my turn to speak i say he was the son of god please you had your fair time when you were speaking i didn't speak so at least have that decency so what i realize is this just like the That's example in the court, when somebody is fined 100 pounds, in your belief in Christianity, someone comes along and says, you know what, uh, let him go, um, I'll pay him in one pound instead. And you say, that's fine. Even though it's 100 pound penalty, because, because you are paying, because you know, you are someone, one pound is okay. That's not justice. Justice was to pay the same 100 pound only a sinless that was man could the punishment. Do. Only an so in Christianity, man as it began with an unjust system where you are sinful and being punished for Adam's and Eve's sin, 
which has nothing to do with you and me because we were not there. We didn't commit the sin. How unjust it is. Likewise, the solution that you're proposing is also unjust. Instead of saying, oh, someone is going to volunteer and take all the punishment, like for like, eternal suffering, someone gets away by saying, three days in, 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 in this earth, belly of this earth. I'm so sorry to tell you, oh, it doesn't friends. make any you know, sense to people who the use their intelligence and irrationality. You know, that's why the, yes. that's why the Bible says, finish, the finish. wisdom of this world is a foolishness. That's why it says, the wisdom... Oh, sorry. You know, Brothers and sisters, we have purchased a property to establish a masjid in the capital of Norway. By supporting our masjid, you will inshallah gain the reward for gifting Islam to our community. Imagine the children memorizing the Quran the lines filling up for the prayers five times a day, the non-Muslims discovering the beauty of our deen, subhanAllah, all of that reward can be yours for a small donation. Allah said, believe in Allah and His Messenger and donate from what He has entrusted you with. So those of you who believe and donate will have a mighty reward. And the Prophet wasallam said, whoever builds a masjid for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. Click the link to help and gain the mighty reward promised by Allah. Also, please help us reach more people by sharing the video. May Allah grant you a palace in the highest level of Jannah. Amin.